one that came like like on that verse, you yeah. stuck out, boy. Like I, when you hit it. Yep, got them yellows, got them purples, got them reds. Hey. Life's gon' hit it, make your boozy in your head. And then y'all kind of y'all shared the verse. Yeah. Like I'm Hillary Rodham. I ain't dissing nobody, but let's bring it to the light. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, let me ask you. You said Suge Knight a while ago. You was one. I mean, I, I was in a casino. Not the new, not the not the Suge you knew. The old the, the at first. I'm talking about the Suge after he had got knocked out. I think. Yeah. Or was it after he got knocked out? It might have been because he got knocked out one yeah. out there. But anyway, I was at the casino and he came in and everybody started whispering and they still had the boogeyman concept going yeah. though. Um, but I know. I had I shot dice with him, mm -hmm. and 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 one thing I can say is I know I seen where you said where they were asking you, and you end up having to check. You know he wasn't trying to pull the moves on you. How did you? How did you I don't sustain? Th I don't think I don't think Suge was able to pull. I think well I look I look at this I look at the South and the West have always been allies. The South and the West got treated the same. So we always been allies. I think Texas being where it's set the whole time has really been our connection to the West. That's hard. You know what I mean? Like everything that came out of the West had to go through Texas before it got to us. So Easy E, anything that was gangster, America's most wanted, anything that was gangster that we were listening to, that it had to come through Texas and it had to get really the okay with Texas for it even got to us. If it wasn't jamming in Texas, it wasn't jamming in Atlanta. So for me personally, I just think that um, we just learned that everything that happens out here it's how you play it. The, the thing I, I said, I just seen the way you you handled yourself, and 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 it make us proud. You know what I mean? When you got when you got somebody that really like you, one of those guys, man, that I look to, man. Like I said, you guys, Goody Mob. I knew y'all had that connection with everybody in Texas like that. I knew mm -hmm. that. I could feel that when you did that that grills with 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 with, with, Nelly. with Nelly and Pow Wow was on there. What it do, baby? Uh -huh. It's the Ice Man Pow Wow. Yeah. I got my mouth looking something like a disco ball. Yeah. And you know they were pushing them damn grills back then. Yeah. That was y'all actually promoted the hell out of that. Yeah, we helped. You know how many people got grills? After that. I don't know. We spent so much money with that. Walk around thirty, forty thousand in my mouth. My daddy like, you's a dumb fool. Look at that. You got all that shit in your mouth. I was like, hey man, that's the way we did. You tell me same thing. All that shit in your mouth, man. You ain't talking no girl, but that she like it, daddy. No, they don't, man. You say you like it. <laughs> You came hard with that though. Like you was one that came like like on that verse. You yeah. stuck out, boy. Like I, when you hit it. Yep, got them yellows, got them purples, got them reds. Hey. Life's gon' hit it, make your boozy in your head. And then y'all kind of y'all shared the verse. Yeah. Like I'm Hillary Rodham. I ain't dissing nobody, but let's bring it to the light. Yeah, me and Ali. Uh, you and Ali shared that verse. Like y'all going back and forth. Yeah. That was hard to me. And I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I think me and Ali really, we killed that record, you know? And uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it just seems like in this business, when you don't know how to play that game that they play, it takes you a little longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I'm fine with that, though. Because, you know, just like we said, you know, you know, with Suge, with everybody. I just think that we came from the era where you knew not to play with folk. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it was always four of us. So we were never worried about no confrontations with nobody. You know what I mean? Like, so, but I think that if you didn't carry yourself in a certain way, the elders at that time didn't respect you. You know what I mean? Like, First time we went to Dallas, we went to Houston, Pimp took us to see Jay Brent. You know oh, what I mean? Really? Like, you know, when you got to the West Coast during that time, you had to go see Conception. That's right. <laughs> you had, you had That's right. Mike, Mike Conception. Conception. I hear that a lot. You, you, had, to, you yeah. had to go to you him go before you could even move around in that city in them the early 90s. So for me personally, I just look at it as we walked them we walked them hallways when it was number air and opportunity and then nothing happened. So a lot of these cats that didn't got gangster at the end of this thing, it's funny because the real gangsters and got quiet and there's been a whole bunch of 
stick figures out here now. You know what I mean? Because back then, you you, you got to look. I tell you, they, they tell me all the time. They be like, yeah, man, what, who, what, 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 how you think it was? You think today more valid than then? I say, hey, bro, let me tell you something. Back then, wasn't no cameras. Folk got in your ass. That's man. right. <laughs> like, That's right. The respect was respect. Like, now, you say something to somebody, they going to look around before they do something to you. They look at Man, I'm gonna let you pass, young know, sir. No, that's real. But back in our day, it wasn't no passing. You you disrespected the wrong player. You had to deal with that right there, where you stand at with that disrespect. And I think that the industry and this computer and made it where a lot of people talk crazy on this here. But if in our time, you know this here, you know like that'll get you hurt. Think about it. That's the way you said you was there when when Pac did that. Hit him up. Yeah. That you know, that's that's the you know one of the coldest uh, songs to ever you know come out. Damn. This how did you try to say, hey man? You didn't say nothing. You just like I just I just knew that it was gonna go bad. I just knew that it because it wasn't I, like now, like I, you just said. Yeah, like I just knew that it was gonna go bad, and I knew that the energy you put out is the energy you receive. Mm. You know, so you know, my thing will always be about how organized noise taught us. You know, organized noise always taught us about being men, having respect, and wanting to be better at your craft. They put people like George Clinton, Dallas Austin, Jermaine, a lot of these people was around us before we blew, or we was able to see their success, see some of the mistakes. But at the same time, too, Atlanta and just being reared up here and, and having to understand that you know, the things that King did and some of the heroes we got from this city, you can still see it. And I tell our people all the time, say, bro, like, we are the, in Atlanta, this is the, to me, it's like one of the greatest representations of what we are at our best. You can still go and see the house Martin Luther King stayed right, in. Right, right. We're not, not far from here. Not even neighborhood. far from here. So for me personally, what other of our black heroes do they hold up like that in other cities? I don't see it. You know what I mean? And, you know, what Maynard Jackson did for this city to make 30% of all the business that ever come out of that airport goes to black people. Wow. That's why it's, I tell people it's more affluent, rich black people in Atlanta than anywhere else in the South, or probably in the States. And I've been mm -hmm. seeing this since I've been a kid. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Like, the, the, the man Russell, that man built half the city, and that's a black man. That's but hard. you wouldn't hear that in New York. You wouldn't hear that in L.A. You wouldn't hear that in other cities. You only gonna hear that about them kind of people in Atlanta. So yeah. we, to to the other people that were not color, we came off snooty a little bit because we had that pride that other people didn't walk around with. And I didn't, I didn't think that any other race was better than us or the chosen. We the chosen. Where we from? So when I went to New York, and I'm sitting here talking to all these other kind of people, and they telling me what's great and what's not great, and I'm like, man, motherfucker, I ain't even go to school with none of y'all. <laughs> I ain't even go to school with nobody that didn't look like me. I didn't, I, 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 the whole time I went to school in Atlanta, I never went to school with nobody that people look like me. So my arrogance can be, get, I can get just as arrogant as you. You talking about Israel, I'm talking about Georgia. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.